and just want to convince ourselves that the following is true. The imaginary part of a complex number z is defined to be essentially, or you can find it by doing z minus z bar divided by 2i. So let's go and actually confirm this. So first, just introduce x plus i y to represent z, keep the minus, and the z bar is x plus y i, just change the sign in the middle to a negative, so it becomes x minus i y divided by 2i. Okay, let me rewrite these so they fit better. So now, distribute that negative to each term here, so we'll have x plus i y minus x plus i y, that whole thing is divided by 2i, continue here, cancel off what you can, so specifically notice that x and negative x are opposites, so basically erase them away, and that gives you then the following i y plus i y over 2i, continue. So now this is going to give you 2yi over 2i, and now I hope you see why you need to have in the denominator the entire time 2i, because now this has to cancel with this, this cancels with that, and it leaves y, and this is the imaginary part of the number z. So in other words, in terms of a picture, roughly speaking, what it's doing for us is this. Let me fix that so it's a bit straighter. Okay, that's a bit better. Here we are. So if this is the number z right here, which is x plus i y, so this is the real axis in this context, this is the imaginary axis in this context, then the y part of that number, that would be right here. That's your imaginary part right here. And that is what this allows you to find for a complex number z. Thanks so much. I'll see you in another video. Please leave a like and subscribe.